There's a see you. How are you? Ladies and gentlemen, the signing of, of the Memorandum of Understanding between the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Lithuania and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia on cooperation on European Union related matters. The Memorandum of Understanding is being signed by the His Excellency Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Lithuania, Mr. Gabrielus Landsbergis and His Excellency, Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Armenia, Mr. Ararat Mirzoyan. Good afternoon. Today we're hosting the press conference of uh, um, Minister Ararat Mirzoyan and uh, Minister Gabrielus Landsbergis. Uh, Minister Gabrielus Landsbergis will start and Minister Mirzoyan will proceed with the press points. Thank you very much. Good afternoon. I'm extremely delighted to welcome Ararat Mirzoyan, Minister of Foreign Affairs of Armenia and a good friend of Lithuania and a personal friend of mine as well. Today we have discussed topical bilateral and international policy issues and the main directions for strengthening the partnership between Lithuania and Armenia. Lithuania strongly supports Armenia's independence, sovereignty and territorial integrity. We were the first country in 1991 on 14th of August to recognize Armenia's independence. Today we support the efforts of the democratic world to ensure sustainable and lasting peace in the South Caucasus. I thank the Minister once again for Armenia's very clear commitment to peace and its consistent steps in this direction. We fully support the democratic reforms undertaken by the Armenian government. We are convinced that reforms and Armenia's rapid rapprochement with the European Union will best ensure Armenia's independence, security and economic prosperity. Armenia is now the most sustainable democracy in the region. Be strong, keep up the momentum and ensure that change is irreversible. We support your government's turn towards European integration and the drive to strengthen the resilience of the country and the society. We welcome the bold steps taken by the Armenian government in this direction. Lithuanian institutions, from border guards to anti-disinformation experts, carry out cooperation projects with partners in Armenia to strengthen Armenia's resilience. We welcome Armenia's growing desire to strengthen ties with the EU, and we support the EU playing as active role as possible in Armenia by strengthening EU's expert and financial support for reforms. We support earliest possible launch of an EU visa dialogue with Armenia aimed at opening visa-free travel to EU for Armenian citizens. Lithuania celebrates 20th, of its, 20th membership of its EU and has valuable experience in transformation. We are willing and able to share this experience with you, especially in the areas of crisis management, cyber security, energy diversification and economy security. 
We have signed a memorandum of understanding during the meeting which will further strengthen our efforts. We also have discussed the Russia's aggression against Ukraine. I thank the Minister for Armenia's government's support to Ukraine and its people. We also discussed our joint efforts to ensure the implementation of the sanctions imposed by the EU on the aggressor Russia and uh, attempts to circumvent those sanctions. So thank you for a meaningful and warm meeting today. Dear Minister, dear friend, um, dear colleagues, media representatives, um, I would like to express my gratitude for the warm welcome extended to me and my delegation uh, during our visit to Vilnius. I'm glad to be back to friendly Lithuania after my previous visit in 2021 in my previous capacity of the President of the National Assembly of Armenia. Our countries enjoy strong friendship and cooperation built on solidarity, shared values and goals of lasting prosperity for our citizens. I should note with satisfaction that our recent reciprocal visits and active interactions underscore the continuous and evolving partnership. And I would also like to highlight uh, my friend's uh, personal input and contribution in deepening our bilateral relations, but also deepening our dialogue and relations, uh, the dialogue of uh, Armenia uh, and EU, the European Union. In today's discussions, we reaffirmed our commitment to deepen our bilateral ties touching upon a number of issues uh, of bilateral agenda, including, including the key spheres like um, economy, high-tech, energy, tourism, culture, and education. We are ready to explore avenues uh, to enhance our economic cooperation, recognizing the potential for trade and investment, as well as existing opportunities and experiences uh, in the other sectors, in high-tech and uh, the others. Uh, of course, we recognize the importance, uh, important contribution the interparliamentary cooperation makes uh, towards deepening the bonds between the two countries. We also reviewed the main items and topics of cooperation in multilateral fora, where we will continue to actively engage and support each other's initiative. Dear friend, in our bilateral partnership, apart from everything, I would like to highlight the solidarity in difficult times. One of the vivid examples was the recent assistance allocated by the Lithuanian government in the aftermath uh, um, of the floods in the regions of Armenia at the end of May. We highly value this gesture in times of ongoing challenges be it natural or man-made, readiness to support and overcome the challenge jointly is more important than ever. And here comes the main point which unites us, democracy and commitment to democratic principles and determination to continue building democratic societies despite the ongoing challenges uh, both globally and in our region. Despite all the difficult circumstances we have been facing recently, our government undertook all the necessary measures to pursue its ambition, ambitious reform agenda across all sectors to benefit uh, of citizen, uh, citizens of Armenia. And we are glad that we were able to make important progress, but we also recognize that it was possible also because of continued supports uh, um, support of our partners like United States, uh, European Union and its member states, including Lithuania. Among other activities, I would like to recall Armenia's participation in the Future of Democracy High Level Forum on Defending Against Authoritarianism held in Vilnius last November. But these processes uh, in Armenia are not merely about democracy itself, but the challenge to prove the resilience of democratic societies to, and to deliver tangible results. With exactly that purpose, we are deepening the partnership with the European Union, currently working on the implementation of Armenia's resilience and growth plan and the new partnership agenda. And today's signing of the memorandum of understanding between our countries on cooperation on European Union related matters shows the utmost importance we both attach to the significantly deepening of relations between Armenia and the European Union to the aspirations of our citizens. Another example which we highly appreciate is Lithuania's contribution to the EU monitoring mission in Armenia. We believe there are still important milestones to reach, one of them being the launch of visa liberalization dialogue aimed at bringing our citizens closer to the European Union. Dear colleagues, today we also discussed international and regional security topics. Uh, 
Continuing our earlier conversation, I presented to my counterpart where we stand on normalization of relations with neighbors and efforts to build lasting stability in the South Caucasus. As you are aware, we started delimitation of the border with Azerbaijan based on 1991 Almaty Declaration. In this regard, we of course appreciate the position expressed by the uh, Lithuania's Ministry of Foreign Affairs following the delimitation agreement in April. Now it is very important to ensure the continuity of the delimitation and reaffirmation reaffirm, uh, on the, on the, based on the same Almata declaration and reaffirmation of mutual recognition of territorial integrity as it is vital for ensuring clarity on the border and avoiding any provocation in future. It is also of utmost importance to finalize the peace treaty between Armenia and Azerbaijan. We have sent very constructive proposals to the Azerbaijani side and we are ready to finalize uh, the treaty and conclude the treaty during the upcoming month as we have already proposed. Unfortunately, we haven't been uh, hearing from the Azerbaijani side uh, so far. Um, moreover, Azerbaijan is bringing new issues, uh, which at least raises questions about the genuineness uh, towards the final goal of establishing peace in our neighborhood and broader region. Dear colleagues, of course, while we exchange views on our vision of a peaceful South Caucasus and possibilities of economic development, we touched upon the topic of connectivity as well and the Crossroads of Peace initiative. Uh, there is no doubt that if implemented, it can bring significant benefits for our region and beyond both for the public and private sector as well. Concluding my remarks, I'm glad we have agreed on further steps to enhance our partnership. We have a strong commitment and desire to make those steps and the bonds between our nations put on a, uh, us a big responsibility and make them inevitable. Dear Gabrielius, once again, uh, thank you for the comprehensive discussions, hospitality and friendship. <laughs>